everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are watching me for the first time, hi, my name is Radhika. I make beauty related content here on YouTube. So if you enjoy watching such content, please hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon right next to it so that every time I upload a video, you will get notified about it. Before I begin today's video, I just want to let you guys know that the look that you see on my face, it has already been uploaded on my YouTube channel. So if you guys want to check it out, I am going to be leaving a link of it up here in the eye for you guys to go and check it out. Now, in today's video, I am actually going to be reviewing the Earth Rhythm Hybrid Sunscreen. So if you guys want to know my honest thoughts on this particular sunscreen, please keep on watching. talking about the pricing of this product so this basically retails for 715 rupees which is 715 rupees and you get 50 ml of product now i know that it is slightly on the steeper side but let me tell you guys that earth rhythm always happens to have either 50 percent flat 50 percent not up to but flat 50 percent off or else a buy one get one on their website almost all the time like you will find either of these offers on every alternative month so if you guys want to actually purchase this one after watching this video or just in general you can actually look for the offer that fits your pocket the best and you can go for that that way you will actually find this particular product at flat 50 whether you go for a buy one get one or whether you go for a flat 50 one you will get it at a reasonable price in that way next talking about the packaging of this product so this basically comes in two different types of packaging but the one that i happen to have is actually an orange tube on which there is all the information available except for the MRP and the manufacturing date. This orange tube also happens to have a pump dispenser and the pump is actually not very easy to operate especially when you are uh, opening it for the first time when you are taking the product off from the tube for the very first time you actually have to press the pump way too many times and that is actually a struggle and it becomes slightly frustrating especially if you are doing it for a very first time itself. Talking about the ingredients list in detail, the first ingredient in this is distilled water which is the base of the sunscreen. Then there is sodium polyacrylate and dimethicon and cyclopentasiloxane and triglycet 6 and PEG or PPG hyphen 18 by 18 dimethicon. This is actually a thickening agent and an emulsifier. Then there is bis-ethyl-hexyloxyphenol, methoxyphenyl, triazine, which is actually the chemical filter. Then there is dithylamino, hydroxybenzoyl, hexyl benzoate, which is the organic compound that helps to absorb the UVA radiation. Then there is zinc oxide, which is a physical filter. There is polyacrylate cross polymer 6 which is the thickening agent and a stabilizer. Then there is tocopherol which is vitamin E, peroxyethanol which is a synthetic preservative and lastly there is triethylene glycol which is actually a solvent that helps in the easy absorption of the sunscreen into the skin. Now coming on to the review of the sunscreen, so first and foremost if you happen to have oily and combination kind of skin type then this is not the kind of sunscreen that you should actually go for especially in summer and monsoon season. Talking about my personal experience with the sunscreen, so I am not the biggest fan of the sunscreen to be very honest. Why? Because I actually had a lot of expectations from this because of the hype that so many influencers had created of this particular sunscreen on Instagram and on YouTube. But for the kind of oily skin that I happen to have or for the oily skin that I happen to have, it is something that feels very greasy on the skin and very oily on the skin which is something that I do not enjoy because I already happen to have oily skin and on top of that if I apply something that also feels oily yet again and makes my skin feel more oily then it is not something that I would be a fan of. I'm sure that people with dry and normal skin type or for that matter even people with combination skin type might enjoy this but people with oily skin type guys it's a big no from me. Talking about the consistency of the sunscreen so it happens to have a creme gel kind of a consistency due to which it leaves no white gray or any kind of cast on the skin and also absorbs in the skin pretty well but it also leaves a very greasy feel on the skin which like I mentioned earlier I'm not the biggest fan of it also has an SPF of 50 UVA and UVB protection broad spectrum and PA4 plus which means that it provides the maximum protection from the harmful rays 
of the sun also if you have gone through the ingredients list you will actually see that there is no mention of fragrances whatsoever which means that there is no added fragrance in this whatsoever so that actually implies to the fact that if you happen to have the kind of skin that is uh, sensitive to added fragrances or that is allergic to added fragrances you can go for this one because this has no added fragrance in this at all and that is why it is actually safe to use on your skin especially if you happen to have dry and normal if you have oily skin type and still if you have the kind of skin that is not sensitive to added fragrances do not go for this especially if you do not like the greasy feel on your oily skin I actually happen to have a problem with the tube of the sunscreen also. Consistency though I don't like but the tube is also an issue for me. First things first, the pump. Oh my god, even when it happens to have the vacuum kind of uh, pump into this, the first time when you are actually taking the product out of it, like the first time when you are using it for the very 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 first time, you actually have to pump it a lot. I personally had to pump it like 20 to 25 times to actually take the sunscreen off so that I could use it. That was the first time after that it has become easy for me to pump but that first time of pumping it for 20 to 25 times is actually kind of frustrating and that was a very big off for me because whenever I go for a new tube, if and when I go for a new tube, every time that I open it I will have to struggle for the very first time to take the product out of it so that's going to be a bummer thing for me second thing that i do not like about the packaging of this tube is that this wrapper if you guys can see it's actually the plastic wrapper okay and it is actually coming out i actually had to make sure that this does not come out at least until the time i do not review this so that you guys can see what the actual condition of this particular tube is and what the tube actually looks like in uh, originality that is why i actually had to take care of the fact that the plastic on this does not get off but i'm sure that once this thing is off may is ki plastic ko nahi sambhal paungi aur ye nikal jayega so that's also one thing because after that I will not be able to know कि इस पे इसका जो best before है क्योंकि हर product का ऐसा याद नहीं रहता है कि best before क्या है या इसकी span time क्या है इसको खोलने के बाद कितने time में खत्म करना है all of that is actually kind of difficult to remember for each and every product so if things come out like this and if I don't remember then I will actually not remember कि ये कब तक मुझे खत्म कर रहा है कितने टाइम के बाद मैं एक्चुअली इसको यूज करना बंद कर सकती हूँ सो दैट्स एक्चुअली अ बमर फॉर मी एज वेल द थर्ड थिंग दैट आई हैव एन इशू विथ इज द कैप ऑफ इट यू विल एक्चुअली सी मैं ज्यादा जोर नहीं लगा रही हूँ एंड इट्स गोइंग टू कम ऑफ इट्स जस्ट गोइंग टू कम ऑफ लाइक दिस दिस इज नॉट द मोस्ट स्टर्डी कैप दैट इट हैज It is one of the most flimsiest cap that I must have seen for any kind of tube. इससे अच्छा तो वो screw वाला cap रखते हैं वो ज़्यादा better होता. This is not the most sturdy cap, which is why when you are travelling with it, it's not going to be a travel friendly tube. So these are the three problems that I happen to have with the packaging. The consistency is also obviously a problem for me because not the consistency actually, but the outcome of the consistency. Like I'm not a fan of it to be using in summer or monsoon. In winters, I can still give it a try because in winters my skin tends to get drying on this side of my face. So in that at that point of time, I can actually try it. But in summer and in monsoon, this sunscreen for oily skin people is a big no from my side. Overall, if you happen to have oily skin like me, you're not going to be the biggest fan of it. But if you happen to have dry and normal skin type, you can actually give this one a try. The other reason why I will not be recommending you is also because of the fact that the packaging is super, super flimsy and which is why I would not recommend you to use it. I know there are people who have been talking great things about the sunscreen on YouTube and on Instagram, but I personally, being an oily uh, skin person, I would... any day prefer the matte mineral sunscreen over this like any day so which is why this one is actually a big no from my side especially if you have oily skin and with that we come to the end of this video if you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful in any way at all please hit the like button comment down below and let me know how you like this video i would love to hear it from you guys Also if you wish to purchase this if you happen to have dry and normal skin type and you want to give the sunscreen a try the purchase link of it is going to be in the description box below do not forget to follow me on instagram the links to all my social media handles are going to be in the description box below i will see you guys in my next video until then bye guys stay home stay safe